What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about nine dangerous lies that men tell themselves. Yes, you gotta you gotta stop doing that shit. I know this is a, a tough video. I'm gonna be tough on you today, but it is really something that needs to happen. Being honest with ourselves is a skill that most people don't have. We think we have it, but we be lying to ourselves to protect our feelings from rejection, from failure, from disappointment, from pain, from a bunch of shit. But by doing so, you are preventing yourself from growing. You guys already know that I believe you are the shit already, and you need to believe that you are the shit too. So you need to get out of your own way. So before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. So if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, video call actually with me, you can do so over there. You can see some more sexy pictures, some more videos, all that good stuff is over there. Please and thank you. Check me out. All right. So we're going to jump right in. Number one lie that men need to stop telling themselves is using your age. Oh, I'm too old for this. Oh, it's too late for me. Uh, uh, uh. The fuck you're talking about? Age is nothing but a number. Yes, even for you guys, not just for dating. It is just a fucking number. People use their age for the dumb shit they do, for the shit they haven't accomplished. It's just stupid. Who decided on that? Who? Who decided besides sports? Because in sports, I guess you gotta be in a tip top shape to, to be able to do it. But even with that, there is people in their 30s or whatever who are in tip top shape that can be better than some fucking 20, 25 year old, you know? So um, stop putting limitation in your mind and on yourself because of your age. Number two, <laughs> another lie that I tell myself too, uh, procrastination. We do tend to procrastinate and say, oh no, it's not important right now. We'll do it later. We'll do it now. Or it's too much of a challenge right now. I'll do what the fuck you're doing? Again, if you have an idea, do it fucking now. Now is the time. It's not in 10 days or in 10 years. It's not going to be better in 10 years. Do it now. Joy mode. Yes, joy mode is here to freaking help you. Because I don't know the last time you took a trip to the gas station and you saw those erection pills and you were like maybe a little tempted to, to try, but you were like, yo, I'm not trying to have a four hour erection or a trip to the hospital to make sure it goes down or I don't know, heart problems or nasty side effects. You were not trying to have none of that. So you didn't take it. Good for you. But now you can go and take Joy Mode because Joy Mode is here to save the day. Yes, Joy Mode is a sexual performance booster. So just think about it as a pre-workout, but for sex. Whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance, why not be better? Joy Mode is all the way natural. Joy Mode Performance Booster is designed to support erection, quality, firmness, and sex drive. Joy Mode was simply created because they saw that on the market it was all trash and they could come with a better product. How to use it is really simple. So you open the little package, you pour it in six to eight ounces of water, and then you make sure you drink it 45 minutes to four hours before you need to perform. Right, so if you want to spice things up in the bedroom or enhance your sexual performance naturally without taking those nasty drugs, you take Joy Mode and Joy Mode is offering my audience a special offer. Go to usejoymode.com slash Melly or enter Melly at checkout and get what? 20% off your first order. Thank you, Joy Mode. Number three, this is a big one that you guys be thinking is true. You think that your worth is based on how much money you make. Dumb. I mean, I'm not calling you dumb. I'm saying what you're thinking is dumb. It's dumb. There's rich people who are trash, the worst people ever. And there's some broke people who are the most genuine. They don't got shit. They don't got property. They don't got money. They don't got weight. They don't got nothing. But they're the most genuine people. Money doesn't make you a good person. Money doesn't make you the right dude to date. I know bitches want money, but watch, they're gonna go and date those rich people and end up miserable just because they wanna settle for the lifestyle. But deep down, they're empty. They're not fulfilled. Yeah, I got a bag, I go and chase it. They're miserable. So don't even think like, oh damn, I can't get her because yeah, you might not be able to get her, but it's okay. 
because that's not the bitch you need. Your actions make you a good person. It's based on integrity and what you stand for. Stop thinking you ain't shit because you're broke. Like, what the fuck? What type of mentality is that? You might want to change that. I'm not telling you stay broke and be happy. I don't know. But still, that's not how we're going to value your worth. I'm telling you, I'm taking me as an example. I've dated guys who had no money, but they were the best. They were attentive. They were caring in, not in money wise. They were caring like what you need. Can I help you giving me a massage? Like trying to help me in other ways. And then I've dated some assholes that were rich as fuck. And like I said, they were assholes. Didn't care, uh, didn't care for my needs or anything. Couldn't even ask me, how was your day? Wouldn't even check on me. I was like, That's it. Uh, this is not the type of person I need. And yeah, one had money and one was broke. But if I had to do it again, I'd go for the broke one. Number four, you need to start telling yourself that you are not good enough. I know we just talk about money, but some people don't think their body, their mind is good enough. Also with social media, social media got us comparing ourselves to a bunch of people who are only showing us the best part of their lives. We don't hear much about, oh my God, I had a rough day. Oh my God, I'm depressed. We don't hear that. We only see what's good. And you think, well, I'm this guy's age. Um, we do the same profession maybe. And look at me and look at his life. I messed up. I, I'm not accomplished. I'm not this, this, this. Stop fucking comparing yourself. I may sound cliche real quick, but the only person you should compare yourself is yourself. That's it. You from today and you yesterday. Is it a little better? Is it the same? Is it this one trasher? If they were trasher, work on it. Nobody else matters. It's your life. You do what you need to do. I know it's tough. We want to compare. But no, that's how you, you feel like, oh, I haven't done enough. Even for me, I, I'm talking shit today to you, but it, it's uh, valid for me. Sometimes I look, I'm like, oh, I'm this age. She got a baby. She got a husband. And I'm like, oh, no, my life is my life. My life is going the way it's going because of something. It doesn't mean I'm not worth it. And also, I'm not trying to be a whole doctor or psychiatrist here, but you know, often we doubt ourselves because people in our present or in our past have made us feel like we were not good enough and they shitted on us, you know, and now our ego is not where it's supposed to be. We think we're not valuable. And because they shitted on us, we think, well, they have good reason to treat us like that. No, nobody has a good reason to not be nice to you. I mean, unless you're a shitty person, that's different. I'm saying all of that to tell you that you got to deal with your own shit. If you have trauma in your past, you got to deal with it and heal. Find a way. Go see a therapist. Go talk to someone, a friend. Whatever you think is going to work for you, do it. You got to do it. Number five, which is kind of similar to what I just said, if I ignore it, it will go away. No, it doesn't. You got to deal with your own shit. Number six. Admitting that you have a problem, that's one of the hardest things to do. Admitting that you're in a codependent relationship, that you're addicted to alcohol, that you're addicted to entertainment, that you, you know, you got to recognize that. So once you realize that you have the problem, ask for help. I know you guys, people tell you, you're the man, you don't need help. Like, fuck this shit. Ask for fucking help. We really are better together. So you need to ask for what you need, you know, cause society has told you, you can't express yourself. You have to handle your own shit, your own problem by yourself. No, I mean, yes, you got to handle, but you don't have to do it by yourself. Number seven, another lie that we tell ourselves. I'm part of it too. Thinking that we are healthy. You know, we look at the outside, we look at the body and we're like, yeah, I'm good. But yet, we don't go for the checkups. I don't go for checkups. I don't got insurance. I'm telling you all my business today. I don't got insurance. I don't want to pay for it. So, I, no. But on the outside, I look like I'm good. I look pretty fit and I eat like trash. And I know my inside is probably not good. But a lot of us, we, we put it on, on the side. You know, we don't take care of what we eat. We don't go to the doctor to make sure inside is perfectly fine. So guys, go to the doctor, go get checked, go see what's behind the muscles. Yeah, your muscular and shit, but what's inside? Is it healthy? You know, you don't see everything from the outside, obviously, 
We, that's why you do checkups. That's why you do blood work. That's why you get checked for cancer. All that stuff needs to be checked out. And I know for a lot of us, you know, if we don't have insurance, we don't want to spend the money. But the consequences are much worse. If there is a problem, <laughs> you're going to spend way more money trying to fix that problem instead of like going regularly to, to make sure everything is fine with you. So do it. We think we're invincible, but it's really about prevention. Because if you could have seen it when it was so small and almost nothing, it probably wouldn't have cost you that much money and you wouldn't have been that sick probably. So, so just do it. I know. I'm, I'm talking to myself too at this point. Number eight, another lie. Uh, it's okay to cheat because she did this, she did that. No, it's never okay. Real men do not cheat. I am telling you. I don't care what you think. If you think about it, a lot of time what you're doing when you cheat, you're just looking for validation and approval from other women than from your own girl. First off, you should not look for validation from anyone ever, even from your own girl. Well, it, it does feel nice that you know your bitch fucks with you like this, but it shouldn't be needed because you should know your value. Or you might be cheating because you're super horny and that's also a problem. You need to be able to control your urges sir because a lot of you want to put it on the girl well she wasn't doing this she wasn't treating me good she, okay well if she wasn't doing none of the shit that you need why you stayed you should have left yes it's never okay to cheat and number nine lying to yourself about she is good for now no you know the bitch is not the match for you you know it's not gonna work but because you don't have anything else or maybe because you think oh it's the best for now no it's not you are wasting her time you're wasting your time and because you're so wrapped up with her the one that might be the right one for you is nowhere to be found because you know she's not coming to your path you're busy with some bullshit, and we all do it because we need company we need to feel good about ourselves we need dick pussy whatever no tell me also what happened when you're with that girl and she ended up being pregnant now you are trapped with a girl that you knew from day one wasn't it for you. Way bigger consequences, huh? Just because you wanted some company and some pussy. And at the end of this, if you end up not staying with her because you knew you didn't like her like that, now you're a single dad. Now think about your kid. It's just too many consequences for you to go and act like that. So like I said, stop dealing with people that you know are not right for you because you cannot attract what you really want when you're still dealing with bullshit. Not saying she's bullshit, but with someone that is not right for you. You gotta be open and available. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. This goes for men and women, actually. But uh, hopefully you can like, share, comment. You can uh, subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. You can also follow me on Instagram at MeliLoveXO, MeliMonaco, MeliMotors, MeliTravels, The Pineapple Show. It's infinite at this point. Everything is in the description of this video. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you're not telling yourself those lies. And if you are, work on yourself. Work on taking that out your head. This is not right. This is not how it's supposed to be. Yes. All right, guys, I love you. And I will talk to you soon.